بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله خالق الخلق باسط الرزق فالق الإصباح الجلال والإكرام والفضل والإنعام الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد عبدك ونبيك وحبيبك وصفيك وخيرتك من خلقك وحافظ سرك ومبلغ رسالاتك أفضل وأطيب وأطهر ما صليت على أحد من العالمين وصل على أخيه ووصيه من بعده علي أمير المؤمنين وصل على الصديقة الطاهرة فاطمة سيدة نساء العالمين وصل على سبطي الرحمة وإمامي الهدى الحسن والحسين وصل اللهم على أئمة المسلمين علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف القائم الحجة المهدي أرواحنا فداه وعجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه والذابين بين يديه بإذن الله بتعجيل فرج مولانا صاحب العصر والزمان رحم الله من رفع صوته بالصلاة على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد My beloved brothers and sisters we are still enjoying the blessings of this great month the month of Ramadan we are almost in the middle Today is 16th or 17th of month of Ramadan based on the difference in opinion on when did we start. But we already passed half of the month and we are heading toward the end. There is a hadith narrated by Muslims from our Holy Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam in which he says Ramadan or Shahru Ramadan Awaluhu Rahmah The beginning of the month is nothing but mercy Mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Wa awsatuhu maghfira The middle of the month is nothing but maghfira Forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the beginning is mercy, the middle of the month is forgiveness. However, the last part of Ramadan is to be set free from hell. So we are moving from Rahmah to Maghfira and then to Itq min an nar bi idnillah. In another hadith, the Prophet was seen as he was taking the steps to the, his pulpit. He kept saying, Ameen, Ameen. When Muslims inquired on why is he saying Ameen, he says, because Jibreel told me, رغم أنف عبد دخل عليه رمضان فلم يغفر له جبرائيل he just came to me and he says a person a person who had the blessing of Ramadan who enjoyed the month of Ramadan yet he was not able to achieve God's forgiveness for himself, he has not been able to secure God's forgiveness for himself. This man should be an unlucky person. And I said, Amin. And then the Prophet says, and then the Prophet says, Jibreel says, وَرَغِمَ أَنْفُ عَبْدٍ ذُكِرْتُ عِنْدَهُ فَلَمْ يُصَلِّ عَلَيْكَ a person whose your name is mentioned 
meaning the name of the Prophet, and he does not do salawat on the Prophet, he is not lucky either. So another salawat, please. فَقُلْتُ آمين And that's why I said Ameen. ثُمَّ قَالْ Jibra'il said رَغِمَ أَنْفُ عَبْدٍ أَدْرَكَ وَالِدَيْهِ أَوْ أَحَدَهُمَا فَلَمْ يَدْخُلِ الْجَنَّةِ He says a person who enjoyed the company of his one of his parents or both of his parents and yet he was not able the son was not able to secure heaven by serving them, he should not be a lucky person. And I said, Amin. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we are still enjoying the month of Ramadan, it seems that the Rahmah, the forgiveness of Allah in this month is so widespread that it doesn't really take much to lean to secure it for ourselves. It just needs a little bit of work, a little bit of khushu', a little bit of humility, a little bit of concentration, a little bit of worship, extra worship in this month. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had displayed his gifts and his blessings for those who seek them. All it takes to seek, all it takes to, to ask. In English they say you can take the horse to the river but you cannot make him drink. Allah made his rahmah so available for us. All it takes is that we stretch our hand to grab it. If I don't have the courage to, to extend my hand to grab the Rahmah, I must be a very miserable person then. Because His Rahmah, Allah's Rahmah is so close, so close. It is just like a mother chewing the food, and putting the food in the spoon, bringing the food near the mouth of the child, waiting for the child to open his mouth. But if the child chooses not to open his mouth, she cannot feed him. The food is ready. The Rahmah of Allah is so ready and available. All it takes one step from us. All it takes one moment of khushu' in this month that we ask him for his rahmah and we ask him for his forgiveness. At night when you wake up for the suhoor, and instead of just having your suhoor, which is sahtain by the way, also ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the golden time for asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's time of suhoor, the pre-dawn time. That is the time that Allah had kept his gates wide open for you. You speak to him in any language. In one of the dua, we read that Allah speaks and not speaks. He understands all languages. You don't need an interpreter. You don't need a translator. Yes, many of our dua and supplications have been authored in Arabic. But that doesn't mean you cannot do your own supplication and you're having your own conversation, your own dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your own language. You don't even need to raise your voice. Musa alayhi salam, Prophet Musa asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, said, my Lord, teach me, teach me the appropriate protocol when I talk to you, when I supplicate to you, should I raise my voice? Are you that far that I need to raise my voice? Or are you so close to me that I would just whisper what I'm supposed to do? Allah told him, do whatever you want. Inni 
Jalisu man dhakarani. The minute you remember me, I'm next to you. I'm next to you. I'm not too far from you. So whether you want to call on me, you want to raise your voice, or you want to whisper, that's up to you. But you want, you need, you need to know that whenever you call on me, I'm next to you. I'm willing to answer your call. I'm willing to listen to you. Any language you, you choose, I will understand it. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we are gearing up toward the night of power. By the way, the nights of power, which, is, which are 19th, 21st, and 23rd of Ramadan, will be celebrated and commemorated here at the Islamic Institute of America, beginning from tomorrow, Saturday. For those who follow Samahat al-Sayyid Muhammad Hussain Fadlallah, the first night of power will be tomorrow, Saturday. For the rest, it will be the following night, Sunday night. So beginning on Saturday, tomorrow, ending on Thursday as the big night of power, we will be celebrating this year the night of power for six nights because we started in two days in the beginning of Ramadan. Some started on Wednesday, some started on Thursday. We will be celebrating night of power in six nights, beginning tomorrow, Saturday. And our masjid is open for you. And after our formal program, our formal nightly program, we are going to have the a'mal done in both in this hall, in the masjid, and in the auditorium. If you choose to sit here and do the a'mal here, you can do that. And if you choose to be on the big auditorium, you can do that as well. But as we are heading toward the night of power, my dear brothers and sisters, we are basically heading to the peak of Ramadan. The most significant night of the year, not only the month. The most significant night of the year. In one chapter, Surah Al-Qadr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that the value, the value of night of power, Laylatul Qadr, is higher than the value of 1,000 months without night of power. 1,000 months, almost 80 years. What's meant by the value of this night, meaning the value of your deed in this night is much heavier than the deed done in 1,000 months. Such a great night, such a sacred night, night of peace, night of worship, night of keeping close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and some people ask why it has not been specified in one single night. Why it is being celebrated in three nights. Why not in one night? This question was given to Al Imam alayhi salam by one of his companions. And the Imam alayhi salam answered basically. ما أيسر أن تطلبها في ثلاث في في أحدى في ثلاث ليال. Since this is a precious night, Allah wanted wanted us to do extra work to achieve it. God could have said it is this particular night, but then if He had done this, you would concentrate your worship in one night only. No, God wanted you to do extra. So it's been eluded in among three nights, meaning it is one night. The night of power is one night, but it is eluded in, diluted in three nights. So as to make, to encourage people, to give more incentive to people to do extra dua and extra worship in, in the, during those three nights. So 
In those nights, we will be reciting Dua al Jawshan, one of the greatest Dua, one of the greatest legacy of our Holy Prophet. What's a nice Dua that includes over 1,000 attributes of God? 1,000 attributes. You're talking about God and His attributes. 1,000. And you are engaged in a very emotional, heartfelt conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Appealing to Him, appealing to Him to redeem us, to forgive us. And obviously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so generous, He will. He will forgive us. So, I encourage you, my dear brothers and sisters, if you have not spent a little bit more of your time during the night of Ramadan, <coughs> then you still have the time. We still have a few more nights, and particularly the night of power. And I truly encourage you to concentrate your heart and your mind. Any dua you have, whether for yourself, for your family members, for a friend, save it for those nights and the night of power. My dear brothers and sisters, again I would like to remind you that our Ramadan program is continuing. The Arabic lecture, the nightly Arabic lecture is being conducted by Samahat Ayatullah Sayyid Munir Al-Khabbaz, a well-known speaker and a scholar and a teacher of the Islamic seminary in Qom who had honored us with his presence. أطلب منكم أيها العزاء أن تستفيدوا من حضور سماحة السيد الخباز هذا العالم الجليل الفاضل ومن البحوث العلمية والعقائدية التي يطرحها يجب أن نستفيد من حضور العلماء فقد جاء في الحديث ثلاثة يشتكون عند الله يوم القيامة وعالم لا يستفاد من علمه so that is the Arabic program and the English program. We have our nightly lectures also with our dear brothers, uh, with our dear brother Samahat al Sheikh Osama al Attar, who will be speaking every single night between now till end of this month. Please encourage your youth, your children, to your, your young brothers and sisters to join us. And one more time, I would like to remind you that the the special program for Night of Powers will start beginning from tomorrow night, Saturday, inshallah, for six nights straight. Ibtida Barnamaj Layal al Qadr Ayyuhal Azza Sayakun, Tidaan Min Yomi Ghad, inshallah, is Sabbat, Wali Muddat, Sit Layali, inshallah, Sanuhi Layal al Qadr al Kubra, Ma'akum bi idnillah, Fihad al Makan, Wa نكرس شيئا من الوقت للدعاء وللاستغفار وللإنابة إلى الله عز وجل اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات أحياء منهم والأموات تابع اللهم بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات إنك مجيب الدعوات إنك قاضي الحاجات إنك على كل شيء قدير وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات ولشفاء مرضانا وقضاء حوائجنا نقرأ السورة المباركة الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر